Hey, what's up? My name is Ashara Eklundayo. I am the founder and director of Artist as First Responder. I realized that the person who got to select what we were viewing was like, okay, that, that, that might be something that I'm interested in. So sometimes it's visual art. It's also been movement, dance work. It's been writers and poets. My, my curatorial practice runs the gamut. So the Black Cultural Zone is a healing space because it's a safe space and it's a sacred space made by us and for us and with us. And it's just good to come here and see us reflected on the walls and the food and the music and the dance without any kind of restriction, without any kind of, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's just us being us. And it hasn't been that way in Oakland in too long. Coming from Minneapolis, you know, we had situation after situation. And it was the artists that brought healing to my community in a way that was tangible and real that I could digest. We are a grant designed to bring joy, health, equity, resiliency to community. So with my grant, I have an opportunity to give resources to organizations that are selling a product that actually brings healing and um, a sense of restoration and hope and support. And that business can be everything from a crystal to selling joy, uh, roller skating, to body oil, body work. And that's the beauty of my grant. Healing for me looks like growing your own food, using it as medicine, communicating with friends and family about how we can, you know, use that as a tool to be able to break that cooperative economics. Take care of the land, take care of the soil, take care of the bees and the trees too. And, um, you know, with the squad and using hip hop as a conductor, we talk about sustainability, it's pretty much what I'm here to do. I think I call my ancestors every time I create, every time I imagine, um, every time I sing. Um, yeah, it's an inherent part of the process. Our ancestors never ever leave us. They never leave us. Although that can be a hard pill to swallow in terms of just having another way to, to connect with an ancestor. Um, there's, there's healing in that. There's healing in, in um, creating an altar and shrine, you know? And if anything, that's what the ancestors want from us is that they want us to create space for them to, to, for them to dwell, for them to live, you know? Um, they are in a realm, they are in the ancestral realm, but they're also here. Right. They're also here, you know, they're also here. Right. Um, they're everywhere. Artists as first responder calls us to pay attention to the artists. It's like it's our responsibility to to say what's not being said, you know. And the artists will do that. that is always about liberation and getting free is that our artistic practices are joy informed. These joy informed activations are about healing, are about resting, are about singing and dancing and moving and like eating well and being in the sunshine, you know, and um, unequivocally black. You can't stop black joy. You can't stop it.